the purpose of this program this video is to just give you a preview of my full length video tutorial for CNN programming using Open Dimis on a sheet metal part so the part you will be programming on or I will say I will be programming on is this one which I already brought in the CAD file and you can see this is a very typical sheet metal brackets but with some tricky features some small holes and a lot of bendings so I believe you will learn quite a bit from the full length video that I created for programming on this part and I will give you a very full detailed explanation how I set up the part and using datums and different functionalities in OpenDemus and also I want to show the join so here is the join for this part and you can see all dimension have already been ballooned so I will use this join and also this cat file to give you a full detail of a programming procedure from the very beginning to the end how you can use this open demon software to create a full program to check this part with all these dimensions covered and you can see there's a uh, um, different GDMT callouts so let's start with something um, very simple but also very important datum structure so let's take a quick look first we have to define where are the features that we have to use as our datums you can see on the join I have datum A on this face and also datum B on the side face which is here here is datum B datum A on the top the top surface and also we have datum C here which is a slot okay so on the CAD model we can see the datum A face is upwards which is very easy to access by a probe so is datum B and datum C if we rotate around you can see the slot is here so what I will show is just a very um, quick feature pickup and to pick up these features are very easy in open DMS. all you have to do is first make sure you, your learn mode is turned on so you can record whatever you do on these features become a program and make sure your select tool is on and make sure it is the pick mode is on the surface so all you have to do is just pick on the top surface and you can see it creates plane PL underscore one and your feature database in the plan so you already have a plan defined but this is the, uh, the feature def definition only and then for the datum B we will do the same thing on the side surface you can see another plane is created um, for datum C what I'm gonna do is picking up the point on each side of the edge using edge point and then construct a point in the middle uh, I will talk about the details about how you understand the GDMT especially the uh, datum scheme or we call it DRF um, datum uh, frame and uh, we'll talk about that in a full length video so right now I will just pick up the edge point so it will be point and on the edge so you can switch toggle between face and edge make sure it's on the edge and then you pick point one and another point so you can see it puts one edge point on each side of the slot and we will use these two points 
construct a middle point. So basically we already picked the features. And the next thing you going to do is you have to put measurement of code into your program. And this is how you do. Pick on a plan. And you drag down to this window. Make it four points. Make three points. Create DMIS code. The DMIS code already there. So it's for plan two. Let's say four points. Create DMIS code. And for the edge point, we can do the same thing for the edge point. All you have to do is pull up edge one. Okay, so I want one point. I create a point. As you can see, it's edge one, edge two. Okay, you can see we already created all these DMIS code. Now, I can run these codes because I already set up the mode as program mode. But obviously, my probe will crash onto these two edge points because I haven't put any move point in yet. But just to give you a quick view how this works, let me just run this code. Let's say up to this point. So what I would do is I will put a break point here and then run from this line. So let's see what happens. Click run. You can see the probe is crossing through the part. Obviously, that's not right. Um, but this is just give a quick idea how you you can pick up features quickly in the open DMS and create the code. So the next uh, what I will show you is I already have a full length of program created preset. So you can, I'm going to run this program so you can get a preview the whole program so just give me one second what I would do and I will run so this is the real program that I created And I believe this is a very typical program, um, probably for a lot of you, uh, especially who work in automotive industry, and uh, dealing with the, the sheet metal brackets every day. I believe my video tutorial will definitely help you to understand how you can program efficiently and measure the feature correctly according to the GDMT on the join. So this just give you an idea what this program will run like and if you think this will be helpful for you you can go to on my website training.rxmacharge.ca to purchase the full length video tutorial and from there I can give you a very detailed explanation on how I set the part bring the CAD file and use different software features to achieve your measurement task. Well, even though it's a small bracket, but actually there are a lot of features that I'm enjoying. You need different functions like distance, angles, and you have to because you have a very small hole in the dimples on the end so you have to use 
uh, different relative measurement techniques to make sure the parts match properly. Okay, so the program is done. And uh, uh, welcome to the, my website. And to browse through my catalog, I have different video tutorials, including some free videos and also um, some uh, full length video that you have to purchase. Um, so you can take a look at this preview and uh, decide from there. Again, thank you very much for uh, viewing this introductory video. Hopefully, you uh, enjoyed it.